Hello folks, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to write our first manifest file. With the help of that, we have created a pod. But this pod is running on some port number internally. If you wish to access that at network level, either within the cluster level or else outside the cluster, that is where we need to create a service. So once we have created a service, we can access it from the external network or else within the cluster itself. For that, we need to write one more manifest file that is service file. Let's go and create it. I am on my minikube setup. Here I have a file called nginxpod.yml. This is the pod definition, I mean to say manifest file. And we have created a pod which is up and running from 61 minutes. And we don't have any service. This is the default service. And if you want to know what is the pod IP, it is quite simple. kubectl get and pod pod name sorry minus o wide okay it will give ip address of the pod now i would like to create a service file for that i am going to create a file called nginx minus service dot yml okay all the manifest files starts with api version so api versiwn here we should be caps and v1 is the version and this will be there again in the api documentation you can just go and refer it next kind it is a service yes should be caps next metadata in metadata you need to specify the name of the service so name it is component of metadata i am going to give nginx minus service once this is done we need to specify the specification Next thing is we are going to expose port numbers at the network level by using the services. So we need to specify it as a ports. Why ports? Because we can expose more than one port number by using the service. So ports colon. Next thing on which port numbers we are exposing our application. So if you do remember while creating a container we use the minus p option right. Minus p external network port number then container port number similar way here we need to specify the external network on which port number we are exposing so i will name it as a 8080 next thing internally to the pod on which port number it is going to send the traffic that is where target port comes into the picture okay target port here t should be small and p should be caps because it is a key value and in key value second word first character should be uppercase here we are sending our traffic to backend pod on port number 80 at last we need to specify the type okay which represents that what type of service we are using and we can go through with the kubernetes documentation okay publishing services you can see here type values and their behaviors we have four types that is cluster ip node port load balancer and external network let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a separate video on these services but if you see the service okay here c is uppercase and ip is uppercase here n and p both are uppercase l and b both are uppercase why because this is a in value each word of a first character should be uppercase that is the reason it is like that in this case, we are going to use the node port to access it from the external network. If it is a cluster IP, it will accessible only within the network. Load balancer to create a load balancer. External name to use the DNS name. Like that, it works in different ways. For your reference, I am going to give this link in the description of this video. Please go and check it out. Let's go back to our file. So, I am just mentioning it as a node port. Whenever we use node port for external network, Kubernetes is going to expose the port number from 30,000 to 32,767. That is the node port IP range. If you want to know, if I go and check node port IP range, you can see here 30,000 to 32,767. Node ports are in the range of so and so by default. This is used by Kubernetes. So let it be node port and apply save and i can say that i have written my service file it is quite simple okay we are just specifying that on which port number we want to access our application and uh, on which port number the traffic should go and what kind of 
service we are using and uh, remaining all this it is equal to our pod definition okay now let me create a service clear the screen ls so to create a service kubectl apply minus f nginx service okay we have created a service and kubectl get all to know whether it's ha it has been created successfully or not yes nginx service has been created and the type of the service is node port and this is cluster ip and uh, you can see here it is creating or it is using a random port from the 30000 to 32600 sorry 767 30883 this is the port number it is using and now i would like to access it from the external network on this port number so for that i am going to get mini cube ip okay so it will give the what is the ip address of our mini cube cluster so i am giving this one like a carl our mini cube ip colon 30883 okay let me see what will happen i think it could not able to connect because if i go and check it out okay what is the service it is doing or why it is not accessible so cube ctl describe service service and service name okay you can see here port nothing but on which port number our service is running target port on which port number traffic is forwarding and a node port from external network on which port number we should access the service but endpoint you can see it is none which represents that you are telling me that on which port number you want to access but whenever it sent to the target port on this one so which part should i need to send and if i go back here you can see here we have created a service but we are not telling that which part this traffic should go because if you have 100 parts in your cluster which part it should connect that we didn't define yet that is where we need to use the labels so whenever we use labels what will happen i can give some label to part and same label i will give it at the service level so now what will happen whenever somebody access the service it will check the labels on this label whatever part has been created with this label to that part on this specific port number it sends the traffic then only it can connect now we need to modify our part and service manifest files to use the labels and selector then only it will be properly communicated okay let's go and do that one so let me clear the screen ls first let me edit the part definition where i need to tell that what is the labels i need to use so labels you need to specify under metadata field in the pod so labels it should be labels not label why because we can create more than one label and i can give it as a app and labels can be anything even app even i can give application or else some other name anything is possible in the labels and a demo app i am giving even i can give nginx app or web app anything would be fine because these two values can be anything but same values we should use within our service so let me copy this one and save this file and va nginx service.yml okay so here in uh, service file we need to mention it under specifications not under metadata please remember that so here selector and it should be only selector not selectors our labels okay so i can save this file and let me open these two files once again cat nginx service now what we are saying that we are going to access our application on node port at the outside of network and it will give it to the port number 8080 it will send it to the port number 80 on based on this label so this label is applied to this pod and it will communicate with this pod so far if i do kubectl get all kubectl get if i give my service name describe service name okay we are just describing now here if you see endpoint is none is there right once we have updated our pod and service we could able to see the pod ip address okay so you know the pod ip address right kubectl 
get pod ip sorry pod name minus o void okay here we can see pod ip okay now clear the screen ls now to update our pod and service we just need to give the kubectl apply minus f and our definition file or manifest file okay so you need not to remove and recreate your pod because whenever we apply it it will take the latest changes okay there is a typo in our configuration manifest file sorry so it should be labels okay and i am just uh, applying the configuration one more time you can see here it has been configured because it will compare with the previous configuration and current configuration has been updated that's the reason it has been configured now again if i try to run it won't do anything why because there are no changes in the definition which means that if you want to do any changes to your pod you need to update your manifest file okay don't do any changes within the pod similar way you need to apply kubectl apply minus f nginx service.yml okay we have reconfigured the service now if i get kubectl describe and our service name if i give it should be mapped to the ip address you can see here 172.17.0.2 on port number 80 now let me try to access it from our minikube cluster so clear the screen minikube ip so this is minikube ip so now kubectl get all i need to get the node port port number so this is the node port port number so curl ip address of the minikube colon port number of the node port okay yes now you can see here we could able to access our application whatever is configured within the pod all right this is how node port is going to work hope this video helps you how to write a service manifest file if you like this video please give you a thumbs up and if you feel that it will be helpful for your friends and family members don't forget to share with them